what happened in Fairview Park with those torrential downpours and the flooded basements in June. They thought they'd go with the old school idea, so they went around to some of the streets that flooded and put these uh, 10, 15 pound sandbags over the storm drains. And while they didn't get as much heavy rain as they expected this morning, it appeared to work today. I thought I was going to wake up to flooding today, to be honest. Tim Donnellan is smiling today, relieved his Parkwood Road home didn't flood again after more heavy rain overnight. You never know which, which type of storm is going gonna, is gonna to get to the basement. After torrential rain in late June, 75 homes in Fairview Park had to clean up flooded basements. Hoping to avoid more flooding during this morning's heavy rain, city workers placed these sandbags over storm drains on streets like Seabury, Cromwell, and others. It's an old trick other cities have been doing for years. The sandbags prevent the drains from getting overwhelmed with water by keeping more water in the streets longer. And that's kind of what sometimes bothers residents is seeing the streets starting to back up with water. But our, our answer is the more water that backs up in the street, the less water that backs up, you know, the other way. The other way being basements. Fairview Park is also having a storm sewer evaluation done this summer, which could result in a long-term solution. It may involve bigger storm sewers. It may involve water retention. It may involve uh, bigger wet well capacity at our pump stations. But for now, these sandbags will have to do. It's temporary, but it's better than nothing. And just about everywhere you look in these neighborhoods on the west side of Fairview Park, you'll see these sandbags on both sides of the streets covering the storm drains, trying to keep that water from overwhelming the pipes. I did check with some other local cities that had flooding in June. Uh, Avon Lakes Mayor told me by phone today no reports of any basement flooding there. Bay Village Service Director said only one or two calls. Live in Fairview Park tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.